Hi guys, on this week's tutorial, I'm going to be showing you this really cute little corgi cake, which I think you know what it's for. It's for the Queen's Platinum Jubilee. So as you can see, I'm going to take through all different stages to create this amazing cake. Um, so we've got the, the ice board with the fabric effect. We're going to carve out a big, big 12 inch square chocolate cake uh, to create the cushion with the Union Jack uh, print on it. Uh, and then of course uh, we're going to make this uh, corgi out of Rice Krispie Treats, chocolate and ganache and lots of lots of sugar based. So come on, let's get started. That's a wee sneaky one, isn't it? I know. It just, just pops up. You're getting glared off my specs. There you go. So, happy Jubilee weekend. Hope you're know. having a good time. Yes. And uh, yeah, we were at a Jubilee party last night, so that's why we, because we're going to be on as often as we can on a Thursday night, just to say hello, just to let you know what's happening with the cakes. Um, and yeah, you probably just saw there, Paul's introduced his little Jubilee cake. Oh, look at that wee corn. Isn't that nice? It was very sad last night, because... Um, I cut. cut it up in front of me. They, they wanted me to cut it, and I said, when I delivered the cake, I said, please do not ask me to cut the cake. I, I said, it's not fair asking the person who's made the cake to cut it. So that, that's my little strap line now. When I deliver a cake, if I'm going to the, the party, I, I'm not cutting the cake. But, uh, you don't want the limelight. You it, just it was really good, because we, we had guests uh, checking in late last night, and the, the party started at six up at the, the farm. Um, and I mean, all, all the kind of lords and ladies of the Glen were there. Uh, it was really, really, really nice, and then we went, and of course it was. Oh, it's a shame you. I think the video is on your phone, um, because obviously the beacon is at the top of the hill, and everybody had had a few drinks and plenty to eat, and we headed up the hill to the beacon, and of course because it's farm country, everybody's got Land Rovers and you know all these kind of off-road cars, so we set off walking as we thought we should, and with a load of others and. Uh, it was just this trail of four by fours uh, driving all the way to the top. But it was, it was, it was really quite cute, cool, it was it? Cool. Yeah, up into the mountain. Yeah. But a lot of them were stalling on the way up. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, it was good fun. It was nice. But uh, yeah. here, here, here's, here's some pictures from the top. For us, that was our, our beacon, and we could see all the way down to Fife, the beacons down there, and we could see all the way up. To Balmoral. Up to Balmoral and Braemar. Um, and we um, could actually see the, the glow. Yeah. Uh, which is pretty cool. But look at that sunset. That was our sunset. Yeah. So look where's Kirk? Mike? Is Kirk, you, oh, Kirk goes down to the left. Just there, to the left. Yeah. 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 And they, there was a, an attempt at a, a beacon just smoking away in the distance. That was the Ash and Tully Ash and Tully. Yeah. Yes. Hope they're not watching. I know. <laughs> it, no, they did have a, but with a nice, yeah. it was a pretty cool fireworks display. It certainly was. But what, I think what was quite magical was um, there was about 100 locals came up for this thing and I thought I'm not sure how many other beacons there'll be and all of a sudden like miles away you could just see this glow come from the top of these mountains mm. and you think people have taken all that wood up and they've yeah. all went up there and it was really cool because I said that you should be able to see everyone should see a beacon all the way down to yeah from Land's End to John O'Brooks yeah so <coughs> and you definitely saw about was it three or four yeah um, yeah, yeah really really cool so, so hi to Amanda Amanda's on uh, Rosita's on She's saying, uh, oh, I can see, what are you saying? Oh, greetings from Ecuador. Thanks for teaching. Oh, you're welcome. I think Rosita watches uh, a lot of our shows on Sunday, which is great. We'll talk about what's coming up this Sunday just in a sec. Hi to Anna. Hi to uh, Aranja and to Angela. Angela's on. Oh, Kelly's on. Kelly, oh, oh, on. Fit like. Fit, fit like donuts. <laughs> <laughs> and to Hayley, who's on. Jan Hello, hi, Hayley. Down in uh, Chelmsford. Amanda, Ryan. Leslie Mackey's on. Hello, boys. Hope you had a great night. The other boys, too. <laughs> yeah, we, and the rest. Yeah. Oh, Not. Oh, we've frozen. We've frozen up there. Oh, oh no, we haven't. No. Um, so, Le Leslie and Alan came and visited uh, for a couple of nights through the week and uh, were amazing. They, they cooked for us one night and one afternoon, uh, when Paul was busy in the studio working away, they gave you a lovely surprise, didn't they? I know, I wasn't allowed to come over to our, we've got a wee cottage next door that we moved into, and I, I'd said to my head, I'm not going to get to do any gardening this year, and uh, Leslie is an avid gardener, like myself, 
and uh, they created a garden. Have you, have you got a picture of it here? I don't. <sighs> I know that was a bad uh, call, wasn't it? I'll post a picture next week. Yeah. Uh, and they created a whole garden. <laughs> it's like, you know those little um, programmes on TV where it's like, the, the you go away and you come back in the garden. Yeah. And they, they had this beautiful garden and uh, we've got bird feeders and we've got logs and beautiful summer plants. And it's well, just, in the morning it was just kind of overgrown, jaggy nettles, yeah, weeds. Yeah, and yeah, uh, yeah so the so tree nice. right went now and they sorted it out. Yeah. So it's a, a pity that they had to go home. So they're, Leslie, you're welcome back anytime. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> How about Monday? <laughs> but uh, no, that, that was grand. So, um, yeah, so a couple of things to talk about. Our Cake Flicks Cake of the Month winner is, well, it, normally we should be drum rolling, but uh, actually announced it in the newsletter. I was going to say, she already knows, isn't she? Yeah, yes. yeah. <laughs> so it's Sue Power from Sue Power Bakes, and uh, look at that beautiful. Oh, it's so cake. nice. And that was inspiration from the Stephen uh, Benison Benison tutorial. Uh, tutorial. Yeah. It's the, the War Memorial Cake, yeah. uh, and it is just. Spectacular. I think, yeah, I think I'm right in recalling that um, Sue had made them those for a, a funeral. Oh, so, beautiful yeah, cake. Yeah, beautiful so nice. cake. Beautiful Quite cake. touching, isn't it? Yeah. yeah, I like it. Yeah. And then, um, well. Oh, this cake is amazing as well, yeah. isn't it? Look so, this. next week on Cake Flicks, we've got Sydney Galpern and this beautiful wave cake. Sorry, that's my phone. And I put it on silent, it's still making that still, noise. That um, just gives some more time to look at that. But is, isn't that fantastic? And if you look closely, look at the middle. The top tier is actually floating on top of a wave. You saw, mm-hmm. you saw that? Yeah. How cool is that? So this is the lovely Sydney um, from uh, Simi Cakes. And there's a lot of eyes and malt working on there. So seriously cool. Uh, we gave her a, a, a... See when you give an artist a blank canvas, uh, they always come up with amazing, amazing yeah. cakes. So yeah. uh, looking forward to seeing the, the reaction to that story. Out uh, next so Thursday. That's, that's next week. And then following that, you've got to, just in time for Wimbledon, you've got a strawberry delight. <gasps> Is that what you're calling it? Oh, yes. Like yes. Yeah, yeah. So well, and actually, Le- Leslie knows what the strawberry delight looks like. I don't think it's called strawberry delight. I think we've already okay. got one of them on the website. But okay. Yeah, but strawberry thing. That's so strawberry thing. Yeah. Strawberry thing. There you go. That's it named. <laughs> strawberry thing. Um, and if you can't wait till next week. We've got our kind of flashback tutorial, which is this. Um, wow. I forgot about that cake. Yeah. It's it's that's why we do the flashbacks. Yeah. So, so on Sunday, uh, on right here on Facebook, uh, Cake Flix Official, you'll get the full tutorial. Um, now, what, what did you call that? It's not on the, the title. Maybe that's called the Chocolate Delight. Maybe that. <laughs> <laughs> you, can, you can see how the imagination just flows at this time. We're, we're, we're one of the worst people for making <laughs> up cakes. You see all these lovely French names for cakes and we like, Chocolate Surprise. <laughs> <laughs> well, what, what was funny, we, we, we'd actually gone for um, dinner with friends to one of the local hotels. And it's, it's one of... Uh, it's the, Cali Bridge Hotel, Bridge of Cali Hotel, and it's one of three hotels that are in the Inspired Hotels group. And um, so they called their, you know, so all the menu it comes out and it's, uh, you know, salmon, cotton, lock tea, and this, that, and the other. And uh, it was Inspired Chicken. And Martin, <laughs> who's uh, quite a cool character uh, from Edinburgh, um, he just said, Excuse me, mate, how inspired is your chicken, or what inspired your chicken? And this young lad, he was totally... He didn't know what to say. Uh, no, uh, it's not a chicken that's inspired, it's, it's a chicken from inspired. So it's, it's quite funny, Bob, that would be us. We need to be careful what we're, yes. the names that we're choosing. But we've got uh, Debs and Tony on from the village, from the village oh, shop. Oh, Hello. Gosh, I feel, I feel under pressure. We've been, we've I know, been, we've been watched. And then we've got... Uh, oh. Flora in Costa Rica. Oh, hi, Flora. And uh, Carol, evening to you, Carol, and Cheryl in New Zealand. Oh, good morning. Good, of course it's good morning. Yes. Oh, goodness, <laughs> Gosh, just shows how late we are tonight yeah. with this. So, um, right, what I'm going to do, I'm going to show you, just as a warm-up, mm. uh, a minute of a bite size of a cake artist that's going to be teaching here at Strathardo Lodge in September. Very exciting. Um, we'll tell you the full details after this one minute bite size. Um, and I want whoever works out who this person is, just type it in here and we'll give you a big shout out. If you can work out who's making this cake, first person to shout out, starting from now.
Love, love, love those flowers. Yeah. I love her style, just so natural. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I wonder who it was. Oh, no, there's a few people now. Oh, yeah, the apron gave it away. So <laughs> yeah. I think Angela was in first with it's Alison Reynolds, and uh, Dale was all oh, just a fraction of a second behind saying it was Alison and Kelly McWilliam said her apron gave it away, but she still didn't name who it was. Um, so, yeah, there's a, a few more jumped out, isn't it? Isn't it fantastic? But, um, yeah, so it said Cheryl in New Zealand and uh, Antoinette uh, from Australia's on. Good eye. And Joe Deal in Kent. And Karen's on from New Zealand, 8 a.m. Gosh, that's Gosh, fantastic. A lot of down under up. Yeah, yeah, a lot of down under up. <laughs> <laughs> so, I uh, she's saying, just loving the brogue. My, what we do, my mum was from Stranraer. M miss her on my bucket list to come over to Canada and see beautiful Scotland but I have no shame in saying right now it is absolutely stunning the weather is beautiful the temperature is great the sky is blue and everything's out flowers are out trees are it's in abundance it's so green isn't yeah, it lovely it's absolutely stunning and everywhere. we have a guest just checked in from Canada oh we have yes, yes. Yep. for 14 yep. nights yep because she's here to do our exciting 3D carving class. We'll make it sound more exciting. It's exciting. <laughs> Kicking off on Monday, we have a five-day uh, 3D, five, five day a five. 3D carving class. Um, and we have seven students from all over the world we've got um, coming to this class. And uh, yeah, exciting. So um, so uh, I've just, David just plucked me from the classroom. I'm doing a deep uh, clean reorganize for Monday. When, when I have a, a really intense class on, I like to completely reorganize the studio. So when somebody says, where's the, the what's it? I know exactly where it is. Uh, so yeah, what's so it? we've got all these guests who are not cake makers think they're walking by going, what, what is this class? What is this room? And they're like, you need to put a curtain up to hide the mess. But everyone's been so intrigued because they're seeing like jigsaw cutters and power drills and threaded rods. And like, you sure this is a cake decorating class? <laughs> So, uh, yeah, yeah, so that's Ke nice. Ke Kelly's just said, if you're doing a deep clean, remember and hide your sweetie wrappers. <laughs> I've actually found quite a lot today. <laughs> oh, I should have done that. I should have put that little snippet of them. Um, if you saw our video oh, that no. uh, Paul had a, a role, it was a French documentary of all about the, the royal family and the Jubilee, and uh, the filming team stopped here. Uh, that was last but, weekend. But, 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 there's, we looked at the, watch the thing, and it was actually Leslie that said, they stopped at Buckingham Palace, Sang, 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 Sangrum, Sandrum, Sangrum, Sa Sangri Sangrum, <laughs> Sangria, <laughs> Sandrum, Sandrum, yep. Then, <laughs> What's it again? Oh, I can't say it. And then <laughs> Shatardo Lodge in Balmoral. How cool is that? So, uh, three palaces and. Um, a soon to be palace. And our place. <laughs> Lodge, yeah, that's pretty cool. And we, we, we started talking about Alison. Oh, Reynolds sorry, Alison. Course. Sorry, Alison. Yes, yes. So, very exciting that we have yeah. our very we're launching our very first guest class, yeah. five day class. Yep, and, and here's what you're going to learn now. Th this is just half the cake. There's two images that um, so as we can do it justice. So, it's uh, Linda Garnham and Alison Reynolds, and it's going to be the 5th to the 9th of September. Um, so look, look at that detail, the royal icing. So you're going to learn how to royal ice a cake. So that's not sugar paste, that's a royal ice, sharp edge royal ice cake. Amazing. You're going to learn to do these lovely runouts, uh, the drop piping, uh, the snail's trail. Uh, so that's going to be one half of the week. And then the second half of the week, look at these flowers. You're going to learn to make all these flowers and then learn how to make them, dust them, and how to arrange them on top of your beautiful royal ice cake. So it's going to be a massive week. But you're getting two for the price of one. Yeah. Two uh, of one of the, the two of the one of the best. Two, two of the two best. Of the best. Uh, two yeah. of the best cake artists in the UK, yeah. if not the world, are going to be showing you how to make these beautiful uh, cakes. And the thing is, they're they're not splitting it. They're both going to be around for the full five days. So it's not just going to be about that cake you're learning, and um, you know, tap into their knowledge and expertise, and they're going to have fun the whole way as well. So, um, you know, that they've been clear, they don't want anybody to feel intimidated it's going to be right down to basics Every, everybody's going to um, learn at their own pace have a good time and uh, you know what what better than uh, two of these amazing cake artists to be working with yeah. so we've kind of revamped uh, the attended course page um, we're going to be putting some more courses on soon but if you just go to the cake flicks website attended courses um, you'll see the new layout 
and we're in the process of putting on some new courses for next year, um, but hopefully that makes it all nice and clear. We are still working on, and it should be ready within the next couple of weeks, the automated process for um, paying by instalments. But if you want to sign up now to book your place now, and you want to pay by instalments, just drop me an email or a private message, uh, david at capeflix.com, and we can get you set up manually, so there's no problem whatsoever. Just go on, have a look at uh, the detail of the courses that are there. So there's still places, there's one place, in fact, I've got your wedding class. Here. I just want to sir, can I just talk about that, yeah. one more last thing I want to mention about it, can you bring the picture back up? Yeah, yeah so just the other thing that uh, Alison was saying, and Linda, is that you can obviously change the colours um, to suit, um, so that there'll be a selection of the, um, the, the new the new Paul Radford uh, colours uh, will be available, so you can you can dust and colour whatever colour you would wish. Yeah. All right. So and um, yeah, and we've got another course to let you know about next week. But um, yeah, it, we're certainly very excited that, uh, that that this was always the the dream. You know, was what uh, you know attended courses. Yeah. Here and filling the the lodge, which it is for we've had, um, shouldn't start arriving now. We're completely full. Um, in fact, I think we're pretty much full for the next four weeks. Yeah. Uh, so, which it's is great. crazy. Great. Um, so, Paul and I are doing breakfast tomorrow. So <laughs> even more crazy. Even more crazy. Twenty. I don't even want to think about it. I, I just, just say more. No, we've got more than twenty breakfast to cook in an hour and a half. I, I did. I hope from, hope, from scratch. I hope they all like toast. <laughs> <laughs> And I hope everyone likes an omelette because they're getting, a, they're getting a, an omelette mashup of a, of a Highland breakfast. Yeah. Well, and hi to Wendy Jordan, who's on, and uh, Paula from Portugal. Um, yeah, Sandra's saying, how do we sign up for this class? Yeah, j just head to kateflix.com, attended courses, and in there is the opportunity to... Yeah, just answer me, yeah, because you, oh, you should ask before you... Okay, yeah, yeah. Oh, I thought it was a, a good opportunity yeah. to go again. All right, okay. Um, how, oh, who's this? Oh, uh, Tiffany's saying hello from the apartment in the hotel. <laughs> we can see you very nice place and very welcome and host. <laughs> it's your Oh yeah. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, good evening to Becky who loves the corgi cake and uh, Tony Holland says fabulous. So oh there was some, oh yeah. I can feel my face getting more red now. <laughs> so, um, one place left on your wedding class, which is on, oh, where's the calendar? Where is it? Yep, 20th of June. There's one place left in that, and I think there are two left on the wedding class in September. There's one, or oh, there's two also left in the carving class. Oh yeah, because that's October. April on the top. Yes, yeah, so that, that's, well, that's photos from the oh, April, April class. class. Oh, I yeah. got you, yeah. Yeah, yeah. so... Look at that! I mean, look at those wedding cakes. That was and that was a. Sp Wait to see the pictures next week. Uh, the, uh, yeah, next week. Uh, yeah. What's three three sevens? Twenty one. Twenty one wed. Uh, Twenty one cakes were made next week. Twenty one different cakes. It's going to be spectacular. Cannot wait. Yeah. So Susan's uh, saying she's down south. Is it easier to uh, fly or get the train? Um, well, given airports at the moment, I would certainly advise the train, but... All the way to Pitlockery? Yeah, so the Pitlockery, which is just 20 minutes away from us, that's on the main London Inverness train line, and it's one of, I think it's the only stop, or that stops at Perth, um, but if you're coming from Glasgow or Edinburgh, uh, it's always a stop, so yeah, and we'll pick you up, if you're coming for a course, we'll pick you up from the train station, so... Chauffeur driven? It just makes it a lot easier. Yeah, we'll bring you up into the mountain. Yes. Yes. Yes, the... The, yeah, it, it is actually a magical drive as you come out of Pitlochry because you climb up uh, over a mountain into the glen and uh, yeah, the whole Strathardo Glen just opens up. Mm. And I know we're biased, but well, I mean, we have lived pretty much all over the world and uh, you know that this has got to be the, the most beautiful place that we've ended up. Well, we've not lived over the world, but we've been to lots of places in the world. Yeah, yeah. Oh, it just feels as though we've, <laughs> how many moves have we had? We've only lived in Spain. <laughs> Well, I've lived all over the UK. <laughs> mm -hmm. Anyway. Anyway, right. So, have I done all my shout -outs? What What's this little thing going on here? Oh, that, that was just a wee spare bite sound oh, right, in case okay. we lost all right. audio or something. Right, yeah. So, well, let, let's just finish on. Oh, look at that. The, the Jubilee celebrations, um, you know, and that was us last night. 
that was a cake before it got smashed and this is how we finished the night but, uh, that's looking down South Arbor Glen Pitlochry is just round the glen to the left um, so beautiful time to come see us and uh, well Angela's going to come up I think to see us in 14th 14th isn't it yeah 14th. Yeah, yeah looking yeah. forward to it uh, with some yeah we're, we're working on a, a launch of something which uh, shouldn't be too far away but I think we're very very close to the finish line um, but more on that very very soon mm. so um Okay, guys, we'll let you get back to your Friday or your Saturday morning. Is it Friday? Yes. Oh, my goodness, well, how does that happen? It's Saturday morning <laughs> for uh, our friends down under. Yeah. Um, well, have a great weekend. Yeah. If you're making any cakes, then I uh, hope, hope you've had a good weekend making cakes. And, uh, and we'll be on next week. Well, I'll be, doing, I'll be on a lot next week because um, as the week progresses, I'm going to start uh, posting pictures. Uh, if the students don't mind, I may even do a little Facebook Live midweek to show what they've been making. So definitely keep an eye on Cake Flicks and on, if you're friends with me on my personal page, on my personal Paul Bradford Thomas, whatever it's called. Yeah, Tom, Paul Thomas Bradford. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, so Karen's saying that sounds amazing. And Antoinette is saying it's a long way from Australia, but maybe one day. Fingers oh, yes. crossed. Yeah, yeah. Oh, so, you never know. We might, be, we might be back. I was there a couple of months. No couple of weeks ago no three weeks ago three weeks ago I was in Australia mm -hmm. so you never know I might be back next year yeah keep, keep, keep an eye out for a wee tour yes yes a so wee... oh gosh you announced these things uh, before oh, I was chatting to someone oh okay yeah organising it okay you're yeah, getting a wee holiday alright oh, okay yeah. that's good yeah you get your people to speak to your people yeah right guys <laughs> have a fantastic weekend take care and uh, yeah catch up next week bye, bye.